the point. 98.7 CKPM FM. Uh, Julie's here, City of Coquitlam, uh, Bear Smart. We're, that's cool. Uh, Coquitlam is designated a Bear Smart community. Yes, so it's pretty exciting. Coquitlam is the eighth uh, community to be given this designation as a Bear Smart uh, community. And the first one in the Lower Mainland, isn't it? Yeah, so it's the first one in both the Fraser Valley Regional District as well as Metro Vancouver, and by far the largest and most urban of the communities. So to be Bear Smart, do we have to send the bears to school and they write a test, or how do you become Bear Smart? <laughs> it's more about uh, actually educating uh, the residents and businesses on how to have uh, bear smart practices on their properties. So the main thing that we're trying to teach people is to manage their food attractants on their property and keep the bears uh, out in nature looking for their natural food sources. And, and it's interesting too because I was reading a story saying that, that some bears don't hibernate anymore. Yeah, that's correct. So this winter is a little bit abnormal. We don't usually get quite this much winter uh, in the Fraser Valley, Metro Vancouver area. So often we have our bears uh, staying awake for longer periods of time. They do wake up uh, during their denning period. So they might get up, forage for food, go back to sleep um, throughout that uh, winter season. And if there is food available, so if it's unsecured garbage or some other kind of human food source, they might not go to sleep at all. Nice. And, and what's the biggest pain in the butt for uh, you in the city and uh, that bear attractants? Is it people's garbage or is it uh, the garbage from restaurants? What's the biggest pain in the butt for you guys to deal with? Uh, the number one uh, attractant for bears in Coquitlam um, and basically in all of British Columbia is unsecured uh, human garbage. So that is what we try and focus on. Uh, we do have some bear smart bylaws in place to help people uh, keep their garbage secure until the morning of collection. So we don't allow people to place out their garbage uh, the night before collection. And we also make sure that our residents keep their garbage secure during the week. And it's interesting because we have those little bear smart containers now. And watching a bear play soccer with one of those is funny when they're trying to get into it because they just, they're, they're, they're dumbfounded. They can't get in, but they're batting it around trying to get into them. For sure. So uh, we do have locking clips on our green carts, uh, but we also encourage residents to freeze their smelly food scraps because those odors are still going to attract uh, bears onto your property and other wildlife as well. So even rodents, raccoons, um, as the pest guy before me was saying. Yeah, that's great. And this is fantastic. And it's just so exciting because, like you said, the largest urban area in, in all of probably all of the B.C. to get this uh, designation. Uh, certainly, some of the other communities are quite a bit smaller, um, under 20,000 residents, so it's a pretty large-scale uh, bear aware program that we have in place, and we're looking to be an example for the other communities in Metro Vancouver who are trying to achieve this status. Excellent. So when do you think we're going to start seeing more bears now? Because the, the babies will be born soon, right? And uh, the bears will be uh, not hibernating as much and waking up pretty quick. Yeah, so once we start to get into spring, we'll start to see the bears waking up. Um, the new cubs will be emerging as well. Uh, but we've actually had an active bear uh, in January and February in Coquitlam. So we are reminding residents to continue to keep their garbage and other attractants in a safe place throughout the year. Yeah, because he has been uh, making a tour of the a whole Tri-Cities, it seems. I haven't seen him in Port Moody, but I saw him in Port Coquitlam and Coquitlam. So he's making his rounds. For sure, and uh, the bears don't see the municipal boundaries, so if you have it in one city, you know he's going to make his way back and forth. Excellent. Julie from City of Coquitlam, uh, Bear Smart Community. Uh, if people want to get more information on this, where do they go? Uh, so you can visit our website at www.coquitlam.ca slash bearsmart. Excellent. Thanks so much, Julie.